Oh. No way. But we've caught up a bit. Oh, a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we've caught up a little bit in terms of timing. It is a challenge after all. It's not going to be easy. This is why it is called Britain's. What is it called? But absolutely everywhere. So good. What's up guys, it's Eddie Fitz, it's day six of the Cape Wrath Trail. We've just woke up, 6 a.m. and the midges are crazy. They're all in the tent. That's why we had to sleep with our midge net. Um, as you can see, they're everywhere, all the way up the tent. It's like black. So the thought of getting it there is absolutely dreadful, but we've got to do it, and we just got to push on. Today. We've got quite a steep climb, up to just over 700 metres high. Um, I think we're currently at 300, so that was good that we got up a little bit last night and then we've got the rest to do today. Um, then after that, we've got quite a tough downhill uh, with plenty of river crossings. Hopefully, the rivers ain't too bad today and it means that we can get to Morvik, get something to eat and then maybe walk another couple of miles and camp just in the forest. That's the plan anyway. Oh, it's day six and it's the first day that we've saw the sunshine. Hopefully it sticks around. At the view I sent for this morning. My dad is up here. We've got to walk all the way along and over up that. Um, so that's up at the saddle next to the Fork and Ridge. We go up to there, I think around 720 meters. And then from there, it's a downward slope to Morvik. Um, downward slopes are always hard on the knees. So, don't know how the knees are gonna be at the other end. Hopefully it's good. There's a food stop in Malvik, so we're hoping we can get some food, snacks, um, bulk up a little bit, see how we get on. So, blue skies, sunshine, got a climb, currently on a path. After the bad couple of days we've had, hopefully this is a highlight. Hopefully this just brightens us up, boosts up morale and keeps us moving forward. I think that's the hardest part of this walk so far, it's just each day is relentless. So when you get a day like this, you know, take it in. Make sure to take some time to look behind you because sometimes the views are just as good. Um, we've got this climb. Hopefully it stays dry. It's all you can hope for in this kind of walk. I think one thing we need to watch out for today, just with the sunshine and walking up this steep climb, is just getting dehydrated. Um, so the next river I find, I'm gonna fill up my bottle in the Oasis purification tablets and then it'll be ready in 30 minutes or so um, then I'll stick on the soya filter and then we're good for a wee sip of juice well water but that water tastes the best water ever when you've just walked up a climb um, so I make sure stay hydrated on your walks it's also safe to say it's so hard vlogging when you're walking up a hill it's really hard just to keep your breath talk and move at the same time. It's something I did not think that we would be using in the Cape Wrath Trail, but it's came in handy. Some 30 Factor Sun Cream. We thought we were going to ditch it, but the sun is coming out. The holidays are coming! Woohoo! Is it rubbed in? So, I was super excited about the sun, 
and now I'm losing a lot of energy. We're almost at the top. Not too far to go. But every step is like walking a mile. My legs are so tired. Each step is so hard. Go through the marsh. So I'm gonna stop, get some sugar, try and fuel up a bit. Quite dizzy. I'm absolutely dying. Yeah. It's only like two steps in front of another and then a stop breather. Two steps breather. Two steps breather. But look at that view. The mountains in the background. It's extremely hot today. So it's just so much exertion. Um really struggling. But nearly at the top, hopefully. I will be in a false summit. Um because I, I don't think I can make any further. I'm hoping that from there it's downwards into Shield Bridge and then along to Morvik. Woohoo! Made it to the top. Now we've just got a ridiculous descent to go into Shield Bridge. But hopefully it won't be as pounding as coming up the hill. Um, I actually prefer the downhill to the up. Nonetheless, I am so tired and out of breath. So, as you can see, the descent is quite a tricky path. You sort of follow on these rocks all the way around and they're really slippy. Um, taking a lot of energy again. It's just such a hard day. Each day is just tricky in its own way, but the idea of moving forward is the only thing that's getting me through and knowing there's a food stop at the bottom. So we finally made it to Contail Lodge. It's been such a tough day. The sun has been beating on our faces the whole day. You can see we're absolutely burnt. It's been tough, but we're here and look what we've got good old burger and chips and a pint of coke. This will get us through the next couple of miles. So here's going. What's up guys, it's Eddie Fitz and it's day 7 of the Cape Raft Trail. Yesterday we passed our first quarter of the Cape Raft Trail which was a good feeling. Today we're going to be hitting the Falls of Glomac which I've been really really excited to see. So it's going to be a good day, hopefully the weather stays dry. Still, <laughs> I'm still really burnt from yesterday. So a little bit of rain would, would be not too bad um, to cool me down. But we'll just pack in our bag, pack the tent away and then we'll heading off to the Falls of Glomac. That's how it's reached the Falls of Glomac. This is absolutely spectacular. Just look at that. That is incredible. All the way down the valley, just such a steep drop. Definitely need to be careful when you come here. We did start to stray along a, another path um, that kind of just takes you to a viewing point, but you don't take that path, it's further up, and then you go along all the way down. We've just stopped off for some lunch, more noodles. There's only so much noodles you can take in seven days. After all this, I'm definitely not gonna be eating noodles again. It's been hard to eat that, but keeps you fueled for the rest of the walk. Um, got a couple of miles, this is a bit of a deciding point whether we go right and follow a different path or if we take an alternative route. Um, so we're going to take a bit of a map check and see where we get to from there. So 
So today's been a good wee day. Went up to the Falls of Glomac, which was incredible. I'd saw photos of the Falls of Glomac before, so it was really good to actually see it in person. We've now decided to take a left and take an alternative route. We're hoping that this is a four before track. It then leads down onto a road and then a path further up. But this will hopefully allow us to then catch up with our sort of emergency camp from day four. That obviously put us back a little bit in terms of time. It was just such bad weather. Um, and then obviously yesterday with the sunshine, it was just really, really sunny and I ended up getting sunstroke. So hopefully this will put us back in schedule, getting us through. We've obviously got stuff posted up to Kinloch U, um, like our food and that. Um, we're thinking of maybe sending some stuff back home, um, just like the extra camera gear, just so that then for the second half of the journey, we're as light as possible, um, and then can kind of push through, maybe do longer days instead of, currently we're doing quite short days, um, so 11 to 14 miles, somewhere around that. Whereas we were kind of hoping to do somewhere between 15 and 16. So hopefully if we, dump some of your stuff, we'll then be able to push on um, and push through a little bit faster at the other side um, and bring us back up on the schedule. Currently we think, well, currently we don't even know if we'll finish the walk, so, um, which is really hard. We've just been constantly really, really like down in terms of like mentally and physically. It really is just a hard walk and it's quite hard to kind of just get yourself hyped and I think it is just you know, some points we were saying there when you're looking down at the path, you have to be so focused in terms of the bog. And there's like holes in the grass and stuff. You don't want to like twist your ankle. Uh, I'm surprised my ankles are still currently working at this minute in time. Um, just with the amount of times they get twisted and slip and slide, went head first the lot. So hopefully this path will kind of just give us a wee boost to the morale. And um, we're going to try and shave, get a wash tonight, um, freshen ourselves up and push on into Kinloch U. Um, and then hopefully from there it gets a little bit easier. So we've made our first week of the Cape Raft Trail. We're still alive, we're still walking. Today, we took a route alternative and walked 18 miles straight. Um, we did walk in road and path, so it was quite hard on your heels, but the one thing that got me through was midget gems. Knowing that when we finished the walk today, we would get into the tent and have some midget gems. I've been waiting for this for so long. So glad to say, time to get these in my belly. It was great to pass the falls of Glomac, it was incredible. Then the slope down was such a hard slope, really boggy, slippy. Had to be really careful when you're coming down that slope, it was really hard to just navigate down. But today has been a great day all around, and we think we've maybe caught up with a, a day four. But we've caught up a bit. <laughs> so we've caught up a little bit in terms of timing and um, we're going to take a look at the maps and see what we've got for tomorrow and then how long it's then going to take us to get to Kinloch U and then at that point we can then take a stop check and maybe send some of the extra camera gear home and also pick up our food and other things that we need but for day 7 that's us.